Prislin with a pull-up three-pointer, it's good. Dickert open from three-point land, good. Wood gets a screen from Went, nails a three. Lifebomb with a pull-up, G, nails it. Ricky bank shot, good. Wainer for three, got it. Intercepted and laid off the glass. Deep shot from the side is up and good. Risberg's two-point a shot is in. Splits for the fence and scores with two seconds to go. We're at North High School where TV8 is getting ready to kick off its 2003-2004 high school basketball schedule. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin and joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, we might have a little mix up here tonight. We got a couple of Norths playing each other. That's right, Waukesha North and Sheboygan North on Monday night, Marty. Should be home watching football, but they're gonna start the uh, high school season off. On is this Monday. ESPN <laughs> Big Monday? <laughs> yes it is, Marquette plays later, but uh, uh, two, uh, two North teams is right, Waukesha and Sheboygan. Sheboygan North coming in with a whole bunch of new players this year, new cast of characters to see how they do. North is replacing all their starters, and uh, but they got a couple of good kids coming back. Brian Herman, uh, Kyle Tetchlug, among a bunch of them. Yeah, how, how often do you have a team that, you know, basically you lose your entire offense, all your starters, and you're picked first in the conference, and that's what North has to do tonight. Yes, Kyle Tetchlog is the big man. He's kind of short by standards, but, boy, that kid can leap. Brian Herman's the same way, real quick, fancy, but he's going to get some help tonight from uh, Shane Gruby, uh, Jake Fry, who's who's a uh, senior. Um, Peter Worth, I think. Peter Worth, yeah, Peter Worth, who I expected to be the sixth man or the point guard. He can play first. Uh, one or three, very versatile athlete. He's going to be a real good one. Now, Waukesha North has a real dandy, a first-team all-conference player as a, as a junior, uh, Steve Shirley. Yeah, last year, Sheboygan North didn't lose too many games, but I believe they lost one to Waukesha. They lost four of their starters, but you're right. Uh, they have their best player back, just a junior, a 17-pointer in Steve Shirley. Now, Waukesha North, not real tall. He didn't have a real good record last year. I think they finished 11 and 10, so you'd think being at home, North should win this game. Yeah, they're picked for like fifth or sixth in their conference. Uh, one thing that, you know, Coach Tessitel does have, he's always got his kids prepared, especially early in the year. They had a very good scrimmage the other day down in Milwaukee. They beat uh, King, Custer, Homestead, and uh, lost to uh, Vincent, but had a very good Saturday, so they're going to be ready for tonight. We're gonna have a good ball game tonight. The Shirley kid likes to fire up the threes. He had 46 of them last season. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and a tip off for tonight's ball game. For someone younger. They won't notice you've gained weight. They won't fire you. They won't talk about you behind your back. All they'll ever do is love you. Find the love of your life. Visit Petfinder at ASPCA.org. going through the starting lineup for Sheboygan North, so I will too. Starting is number 23, Shane Gruby. Gruby's a 6'3", senior. Number 25, Jake Fry is a six foot senior. Also starting for North is number 31, Peter Worth, he's a 6'2", junior. Also a junior is number 35, Brian Herman, he goes 6'3", and rounding out the starting five for North is Kyle Tetchlog, a 6'4", junior. For Waukesha, Waukesha North, Jared Weimer, a six foot junior will be starting along with Steve Shirley. We mentioned him in the opening. He's their high scoring guard. He's a six one senior or junior it's got here. Tyler Schaefer, number 10, is a six one senior. Number 12, Mike Olenicek is a six one junior. And rounding out the starting five for Waukesha is Brian Jarrett, a six two senior. Our officials tonight, uh, coach, are Fritz Richter and Craig Hepner. Mr. Richter, Richter will be uh, tossing the ball up at center court. 
And Tetchlog controls the tap and North got it, but it was out of bounds. So Waukesha North will have it. Where does the possession arrow go on that, Coach? Uh, we're going to give it to White. Two very small teams, Marty, and compared to uh, Division I men's basketball. Nobody over uh, basically 6'4 with Kyle on the floor. North playing a man-to-man, -man, of course. Wall is safe from going out of bounds by Herman. Fry has it for North. Over to Gruby, trying to force it down the lane. Herman didn't cut down the lane like uh, Gruby was expecting and uh, threw it right to a Waukesha North player. Mark Cooper, who doesn't start for Waukesha North, will be the tallest uh, player. He goes 6'6". Tetchlog has it taken away by Shirley and then his shot is blocked. Gruby has it in the corner, now he brings it out on top. Pushes it hard to the basket and he's fouled. Getting him from behind was uh, Tyler Schaefer. Well, one of the questions going into the season, who's gonna score? I mean, you have to replace a lot of points in a Chad Decker, Brad Wayner, Matt Horzen. Those are some big shoes to be filled. And uh, this is one you're counting on, Shane Gruby, running the three spot. He had a good shot of uh, Head coach John Ricciardi in his seventh year at Waukesha North. As Gruby pounds in a couple. Here's your token North press. That ain't a token press. Safe from going out of bounds. Shirley going hard to the basket. Well, he's pretty smooth, coach. Yeah, that's a good move there. Fry going hard to the basket. His shot is uh, no good, but he's fouled. Another one I expect to contribute quite a bit this year is Peter Wirth, number 31, junior. Well, a knee check on the fall, and going to the line is Jake Fry. Jake was hurt last year. Came back way late, I believe, in the tournament. Got some action in. Worked hard, awful hard this summer. Gonna play a lot of point guard, shooting guard. Fry nails a couple, it's four to two North with 6.35 remaining in the first quarter. Mike Martin along with Chris Wright bringing you the ball game. Ruby ties up Michael Anichek and it's gonna be uh, North ball, Sheboygan North. Who <laughs> was gonna do that? Herman gets it all the way out to uh, Tetchlog, almost a five second violation. Worth has it, gets it out on top to Fry. North gonna reset the offense. So far they've had pretty good movement early on. They had another foul on Waukesha. That one's gonna go on Brian Jarrett. That's the third foul on Waukesha, coach. Fortunate thing for them is nobody has two. That's just two minutes though, Marty. I know. Pass inside to Tetchlog. He fell down as he was trying to establish post position and the ball went out of bounds. Outside to Shirley, his three pointer trickles in. Waukesha North on top, five to four. Have to know where he is all day. Can't leave him. Pushing it hard to the basket was Shane Gruby and he forced the shot up and got fouled. What I really like early here, Marty, is him pushing the ball to the basket is right. I like their early attack and that's for sure. Tyler Schaefer picks up the fall. That's his second. That's how the system works here. You gotta get movement. You stand around on the outside in the perimeter, it's not gonna get done. Gotta like what you're seeing early on by uh, the Golden Raiders here on a Monday. 
I think the most surprising thing is we're two minutes and 13 seconds into the game and they haven't shot a three pointer yet. Well, they really haven't committed a foul either. Knock on wood. <laughs> and three, six for six on the free throw line. Well, they struggled at times last year with their free throw shooting. Waukesha working the perimeter. As that Cuts at it inside. And then he has it taken away by Tetchlog. And uh, Kyle loses it, trying to push it up the floor, lost it out of bounds. Good effort on his part. Mike Golanichek has it, being hounded by Gruby. There's Shirley, guarded by Worth. Good help defense underneath by Tetchlog. And then Shane Gruby commits the foul on Mike Olenichek. Just when you see North hasn't committed a foul, you go ahead and commit one. Nice cut by Shirley, his shot trickles off and then he fights hard for the rebound and they're gonna call it off of Norris, Peter Worth. Shirley, not a big guy, but uh, he plays tall. Shirley's shot from outside the line is good again. He has all of Waukesha's eight points and they lead it eight to six. Norris still looking for their first basket. Good pass there by Tetchlog. Herman, Herman from outside the line, he's got it. Brian Herman with a three-pointer off an assist from Kyle Tetchlog. It's another young man expected to contribute quite a bit with points this year, Brian Herman, and boy, that kid can jump. And he's fast, and he's got good hands, and he can shoot. Having trouble finding an open player is Kutz, and now he takes it hard to the basket. He's fouled, and he makes the shot. Well, that's my motto. If you don't know what to do with it, shoot it. <laughs> I was wondering if somebody decided Shirley was going to shoot tonight at all. Ball is committed by Brian Herman. That's his first Sheboygan second team foul. Kutz can't finish a three-point play. Waukesha is on top, 10 to nine. Worth taking it hard to the basket and got it. Nice shot by Peter Worth. Four different players have scored for Sheboygan. And again, going to the basket. Great decisions there by the Golden Raiders. 340 remaining in the first quarter. Sheboygan on top, 11-10. Olenicek's jump shot is in from 12. They're gonna cool off soon, Marty. Well, one thing they did well there is after the shot was made, they got back on defense in great shape. Fry almost traveled on his penetration. Shane Gruby taking it in, his shot is blocked by Kutz, and then it goes out of bounds. Waukesha has it. Trevor Gruby going up to the uh, Scores table and he'll check in for his brother. Shane, he get a good shot at Trevor. Trevor's known for his shooting. So. See what he just did to number 12 when he ran across the lane? He did what I do to you when you're starting to get away from me. Grab this shirt. <laughs> Another turnover though for Waukesha. Five forced turnovers already in five minutes. Gotta like that if you're north. Sheboygan North. Fry taking it right down the lane, pump fake, shot is up and in. Jake Fry on a nice move right down Main Street. And tipped away, Herman with a good feed over to Fry. Shot is up and good. 
Brian Herman making a great steal and then making a nice pass. Well, if you're Waukesha North, this is exactly what you don't want to happen. This is where North, Sheboygan North is so explosive as they get turnover after turnover in an easy basket. Shirley feeds it off. Not able to get the shot was cuts. No, he does. He got it in again and he's fouled. Another three point attempt by Brian Cooks. I think they're going to get Brian Herman a second foul here. You're absolutely right. Cooks had a three point attempt uh, just a couple minutes ago. He missed the free throw. Let's see if he uh, knocks it down this time. He can't. Herman for Sheboygan North gets the rebound. 15 to 14, Raiders on top. Peter Worth for three. Oh, that was Trevor Gru Gruby. Trevor Gruby. Me, Trevor Gruby, number 21, not 31. Thanks, coach. Jared had it, shot it, no good. Gruby's three pointer again is. Off the top of the backboard, I think it hit the bracket. Referee blows the whistle, signaling it's out of bounds. Waukesha has it there. Get a good shot of Brian Herman coming off. Vesta Jr. Yep. First team all-conference wide receiver. Honorable mention All-State. That's all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Oh, he's got to play a little center field for me too next spring. <laughs> On the school year. Shirley being hounded by Worth. Now he gets around him and Worth is gonna pick up the foul. You can see, Coach, that uh, Steve Shirley has uh, got some excellent moves and I think that uh, putting Peter Worth on an island, you know, really putting him on the spot, you might yeah. wanna think about giving him a little bit of help. Yeah, he's just a junior too. I thought that was a misprint, right? He was first team all conference as a sophomore. Pass shoveled outside, long three point attempt is off, no good. Waukesha North gets it back. Tom Erdman on that three point attempt that didn't go down. Cuts inside, left handed shot is up and in. That guy's got six points, he's a freshman coach. He doesn't play like a freshman. Sure doesn't. Etchlag with a pump fake and then uh, stealing the ball was Herman. Shirley, good defense by North getting back, preventing the fast break. Where's a travel not called? Etchlag blocks the shot of Jared and North comes away with it. North on top, 18 to 16. We're under a minute remaining in the first quarter. Inside, Tetchlock, spin move, can't get it to go. Shane Groovy puts the offensive rebound back up and in. He has six points. Ball is tipped away, and then Erdman, not able to come up with it, loses it out of bounds. Tetchlock coming off, Peter Priggy coming in. He'll lose a good six inches there. Yeah, but Peter plays bigger than he is, just 5'10", but he's got a big heart. Watching him last year on the JVs, he always had to guard some of the taller guys and we always seemed to get a lot of big rebounds. Pass inside to Worth, out to Shane Gruby, bango! Long three point shot. Gruby with, Shane Gruby with nine points. North up 23 to 16. Puts out to Shirley, we're down to seven seconds. He's looking to go one-on-one -on -one against Worth. Good defense by Peter Worth. Shot is off, doesn't hit anything, and that's the end of the quarter with North on top, 23 to 16. Twins can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my <laughs> our life in knots. 
ever consider a double major? Properly inflating my tires burns less fuel and saves me money on gas. Yeah, I'm saving Mother Nature from pollution, but more importantly, she saved me 11 bucks. Oh! Environmental events, get green. By keeping my car regularly tuned, I save money on gas and repairs. That also means cleaner air. You know, feels good to help save the cash planet. Environmental events, get green. For more tips, go to getgreen.com. Here you see some of the fans for Sheboygan North. Well, we expected uh, Steve Shirley to be a hot shot for Waukesha North, and he leads them with eight points. We were kind of unsure about who was going to step up for Sheboygan North. In that first quarter was Shane Gruby. He was four for four from the line, had a three-pointer and a two-point basket for uh, nine points to lead all scorers after one quarter. Both teams pretty hot, Marty. North seven for 10. Sheboygan North, that is, that's a good start for them. Jake Fry guarding uh, Steve Shirley now. Kyle Tetchlog back in the ball game. Tipped away by Shane Gruby, takes it hard to the basket. He's hammered hard. And he goes down. Well, the Sheboygan North defense definitely causing a lot of havoc for Waukesha. I mean, lots of turnovers early. Seven turnovers already, that's just way too many for Waukesha North and their coaching staff. They've just, uh, seven for 12 shooting too, they're, they're doing quite well as well. Here you see Coach uh, Richardi. Ruby has uh, made a living at the line, Coach. He's five for five. Absolutely what you want to get done here, getting to the free throw line. That one was in, but the hoop didn't want it. Rolled back out, North on top, 24-16. Early in the second quarter, 7.30 remaining. Waukesha North plays in the classic eight. Three-point attempt by Erdman is good. Wow, that was a funky looking shot, but it got That was down. a rainbow, <laughs> see that. North Trevor Gruby right back with two, with three, pardon me, his second three-pointer. Well, Coach Ricciardi talking to his boys about not getting back on defense, and I know I commented earlier back in the first quarter, it seemed like they did a pretty good job of getting back on defense. Well, that time was just a mix-up. They weren't sure who had who, and so it cost them a three and a timeout, and that's just something you don't expect from varsity players, but it's early in the year. But uh, trying to figure out who's guarding what number, and uh, as a result, it cost uh, Waukesha North a three, but we'll take it. North had a couple of mini runs in that first quarter, but uh, Waukesha able to uh, stem the tide. Yeah, they have, and both teams shooting very well this early in the year. Waukesha will have it coming out. North so far in the contest has hit on uh, four three-point baskets. And uh, that's exactly what they want to do, get those three-pointers up and in. Shirley triggering the inbounds. He gets it in to his teammate Olenicek. Tom Demers has it in the middle of the floor. Good trap right there. For Erdman. Wow. Gets up on his jump shot, a two-pointer that time. They're shooting very well. He does have a little bit of a funky release, Coach, but uh, he skies for his shot. Kyle Tetchlog scoring his first two of the season. 29-21 North on top. Out in the open court was uh, Olenicek, but he was stopped. Erdman has it guarded by Shane Gruby. He jumps, leaps over. Tetchlog, his shot is no good. Trevor Gruby, double team. Shane Gruby's not double team, though. He puts a three-pointer up. It's no good. Worth with the rebound. 
Well, Tetchnall got inside position, but they didn't give him the ball. Shane Groovy hard to the basket. He got it in, and he's fouled. Well, I gotta like that, him going to the basket. And again, he's at the free throw line. The foul goes on Brian Cutts. Freshman, his first. Coming in for North is Dave Suxy. And checking out is Trevor Gruby. Suxy, another shooter. Got a little bit of a look at Ron Rudolph, the JV coach. His team won tonight in the first game. North continues to play a man-to-man -man defense. They've built that lead up to 11. It's 32 to 21, and losing it out of bounds was Tom Erdman. And the uh, pressure defense is getting to Waukesha North. Lots of turnovers, and all of a sudden you can see the head start dropping a little bit, and the confidence is going down. And that's a good thing if you're a North fan. Worth trying to get the baseline, but was cut off. North swings the ball to Shane Gruby, no good. Tetchlog powers it to the basket. Can't get it in, and he's fouled. Now they're gonna call offensive foul. I don't know how, but they're gonna. Oh boy. First nope. fall on uh, Tetchlog. Can't say that I agree with that call. No, he just exploded the basket. There's no way he charged in there. The guy was in no position to take a charge. North breaks, uh, Waukesha North breaks the uh, Sheboygan North press. Shirley shot is off. He hasn't missed many tonight, Coach. Sucks he almost losing it. Now he's stuck without his dribble. Gets it inside to uh, Tetchlog. Sweet. Yep, what a move. We've seen that before. It's like a man among boys under there, because they don't have anybody that's tall enough to contend with him. Tetchlog a little late. Trying to uh, intercept that pass, and uh, he got a little bit of help from Dave Suxy rotating back on the defense. It looked like Waukesha was gonna have an easy lay-in. Herman checking in for Tetchlog. Committing the foul was Dave Suxy. That's his first six-team foul on North, Sheboygan North. Uh-oh. Shirley traveled. traveled on his way to the basket. I was hoping they were gonna call that travel because he shuffled his feet. I didn't want Herman to get his third foul there. Don't dribble. Yeah, don't dribble is right. <laughs> Ruby with a little push off on his way to the basket, and I believe he's gonna get called for that. Yeah, carry. Or was it, okay, violation. Yeah. If you watch him with that offhand when he makes that spin move, he pushes off. I like his move though, it's good explosive to the basket. I do the same thing in bulk balls, calls a fall on me. Another turnover by Waukesha. With 3.54 remaining until halftime, North on top, 34 to 21. And uh, they've pretty much had it their way here in the second quarter. Waukesha was able to stay with them through more, most of the first quarter. But uh, North, slowly but surely, <laughs> no, no pun intended, it's building up a bigger lead. Of course, Steve Shirley is the uh, Star scorer for Waukesha. And uh, he had eight points in the first quarter. He doesn't have any here in the second. Another good move there. Peter Worth with another basket. He has four. We're almost having it taken away. And then we finally get a foul. I believe that's going to go on Jake Fry. Fry hounding him just a little bit too much. Yeah, I thought 
Just a bit, got back off a little bit, but uh, good first half. Kept out of the uh, bonus until three minutes of the uh, first half here. Well, Tetchlog is back in and Herman is back out. Herman uh, seeing limited time with his two fouls. Steve Shirley with a shooter's bounce. Hit the wow. top. Oh, that thing is, well, that could have been from the bounce, though, too. Yeah, it bounced off it, Marty. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, the way it hit the rim, didn't necessarily have to hit up there, but if you say so, you got, the reason you're at the table with me is you got the eyes, man. <laughs> I thought it's only the wire, not that little cord. <laughs> that counts. Another good take to the basket. Muscling it up, but not in, was Peter Worth, and coming away with the rebound was Steve Shirley. Pass inside is real nice, and getting the easy two is Jared Weimer. Off a great assist from uh, Steve Shirley. Dave Suxy's shot is off, no good. Shane Gruby with the putback. That's two offensive rebounds for baskets for uh, Shane Gruby so far tonight. Waukesha breaking the press. They trail it 38 to 25. Erdman, skies for his jumper at Rainbow, goes in again. He has seven points all here in the second quarter. Pass to Tetchlog is just a little bit out of his reach, and it sails out of bounds, and uh, checking in is gonna be Peter Priggy. And coming out is Shane Gruby. Ryan Cutts comes in. Jared Weimer checking out. See Coach uh, Rebels? Yep, former coach at Wauwatosa East, Hall of Famer. Coached some good ones, including Gary Gresh. Who's that guy? That name yeah, sounds he's familiar. At, he's at Lakeland and Tony Smith. Played at Marquette. As long as we're mentioning uh, Coach Rebels, you know, he was at Waukesha East, you mentioned that. What's he doing at North? I don't know. Oh, he's at Tosi East, so I don't know what's he's at Waukesha, Waukesha North. I think he's retired. Maybe he just does this on the side. Kind of like Coach Desatel, retired and does this <laughs> on the side. Yeah. I don't think Coach does it on the side. <laughs> Coach Desatel, anyway. Those are some good battles. Yeah. Sheboygan North against Tosi East. We used to play them, I know, years ago when I played on the, uh, our coach, the freshman team, we would go down and play Tosa. A uh, good steal by Cuts. He read that pass into uh, Tetchlog. Shirley's jump shot is in. His first, pardon me, his first basket of the second quarter. He has four points. He had a couple of free throws earlier on. Peter Worth straining to get that three-pointer up there, but it went in. You're getting a wide variety is right of points and scores and three-point shooters and uh, Everybody's contributing for uh, Sheboygan North so far on the offensive end. Priggy hounding the uh, Otosa, pardon me, Waukesha player, Tom Demers. Down to a minute and 12 in the first half. North on top, 41-29. Waukesha taking their time, looking for a good shot. And then coming over the back and committing the foul was Jake Fry. That'll be his second foul. Not a good defensive play there, Coach. No, he played a good solid defense and then just kind of poked in there and reached. Get those done early before the uh, conference play starts this Friday night. Which makes me think that there is a load of coaches here tonight. Coach Brunigui from Oostburg. Hey, Conard from Southwest, Christensen from Manitowoc, Coach Koopman from South is here, Coach Siebel, Siebert from Cedarburg here. So there's a large variety of coaches here. You are just a plethora of information, <laughs> Coach. <laughs> Holy I, cow. I've coached this sport once. The once. only one I saw was Mark Christensen. <laughs> he wouldn't even say hi to me. <laughs> Not quite a few of the coaches over the years. North on top 10, 41-31. All the moms leaving, getting ready to run the concession stand. 
Ball is tapped away. Of course, Cedarburg will be here for the Christmas tournament, as will Oostburg. There you okay. see Matt Horzen up and under the tee. Jim. Yep. Three-point shooter from a year ago. He was a dandy. Priggy with a steal, he got knocked down, no call. Stealing it right back was Peter Wirth. Shane Groovy going hard to the basket, can't get it. Rebound shot is off, no good. Shirley comes through with it, comes out with it, pardon me. And Tetchlog with the block shot, his second block of a Shirley shot. He had one in the first quarter. Shane Groovy's shot is good. We're at 10 seconds remaining. North on top, 43-31. Action fast and furious at North High on a Monday night. Four point eight seconds remaining until halftime. Don't let him open. Shirley with a good pass inside to Kutz. He's got it. Well, we talked about Steve Shirley and his shooting, and he's showing us that, but he's also a depth passer. We're at halftime. North on top, 10, 43 to 33. Kids aren't afraid of other kids or people with different color skin. That's because kids know there are other things, worse things, bigger things to be afraid of. Like monsters from outer space. Remember, friends come in all colors. I build schools. I battle injustice. I eradicate landmines. I feed the hungry. I shape international policy. I protect children. I fight for human rights. I find homes for refugees. I dig wells. I develop economies. I teach people to read. I influence the president. I heal the sick. I comfort the grieving. I make the world better. I make a difference. I change the world, so can you. school where the Raiders lead it at halftime 43 to 33. Let's go through some of the scoring for Sheboygan North. Shane Gruby led all scorers with 17 points. Following him was Peter Wirth with seven. Trevor Gruby and Jake Fry each had six. And rounding out the scoring was Kyle Tetchlog with four and Brian Herman with a three-pointer. For Waukesha, Steve Shirley led them in scoring with 14 points. Brian Cutts off the bench, a freshman. Uh, tacked on eight points. Tom Erdman off the bench had seven. And then Jared Weimer and Michael Anichek rounded out their scoring with two each. Waukesha brings it out of the timeout. Uh, Coach, you had some uh, interesting uh, shooting percentages for both teams. Yeah, both teams shot extremely well, uh, both well over 50%. Uh, I would have to say a very positive first half for Sheboygan North. They did a lot of things well that first half. Created turnover, shot extremely well. Not a good start there, but for the most part, you gotta be happy with the first half that the Golden Raiders played. Brian Jarrett with an easy two off a great pass from Steve Shirley. Shane Gruby's shot is a little bit short. And it's off of Kyle Tetchlog. He tipped it away from uh, Tyler Schaefer. The other thing I liked about Sheboygan North, he got scoring from him a variety of players. And uh, we knew coming in, there's gonna be a lot of uh, different people gonna have to score this year. And I, I can see that many of them are taking the forefront and doing that. Well, Waukesha North beat the press, but instead of pushing it to the basket, they uh, decided to uh, stop and play half court. 43-35, North on top. We just started second half action. Mike Martin along with the coach, Chris Wright bringing you the ball game. Good hustle by Herman. He is so quick with those feet. Waukesha will keep the possession. Steve Shirley's gonna trigger the inbounds. Trying to get it inside, but taken away. 
by Norris, Trevor Gruby. I got 14 turnovers now, Waukesha North, that's just too many. Again, a positive sign for Sheboygan North causing those turnovers. And a foul on Waukesha is Michael Anichek. That's gonna be his second foul. Converting the first free throw was Jake Fry. That's Norris' first points, Sheboygan Norris' first points of the second half. Sheboygan North is now 10 out of 11 on their free throw shooting coach. Waukesha doing a good job of breaking the North press. Tetchela guarding the much shorter Jared Weimer. He backs off of him. Good inside feed. Shot is up and off, no good. Coming away with it was Waukesha. Steve Shirley's shot is no good. Tetchlog can't get it, but coming up with it is Jake Fry for North. Trevor Gruby picks up a little bit of a screen on Tetchlog. Hack. hack right on the arm, but not called. No harm, no foul. Peter Wurst shot, bounces off, no good. And rebound, Waukesha Norris, Mike Olenichik. And a little bit too much body and push was Trevor Gruby, that'll be his first fall. Both teams now with uh, one team fall each. There you see uh, Trevor. A lot of points by the Groobies tonight, Coach. Yep, I was just thinking about uh, how hard those two young men have worked. Good pass inside, but missing the bunny was Jared Weimer. North comes away with it. They're up 10, 5.15 remaining here in the third quarter. Tetchlock trying to establish position. Shot by Shane Gruby is no good. Tetchlock with a good rebound. He puts up the bunny. Put back is up and in. North has uh, done pretty good on the offensive glass, coach. Yep. I got him for a half a dozen offensive rebounds. And I've got him for at least three uh, offensive baskets. I know yep. Shane Gruby has two, and yep. Kyle Tetchlock has that last one. Yep. Steve Shirley with the strong rebound, Tetchlog with the block, and I believe the foul. For Kyle, that'll be his uh, second personal foul. Shirley making his uh, third trip to the line, he's four for four. Not anymore. Way to jinx him. That was the point <laughs> of mentioning it. Is that being a bad sport? No, that's not being a bad sport. Is that being a homer? <laughs> it's being a homer. Well, we had such a successful uh, football season, we want the same to carry over for basketball. Yeah, we had a dandy the other night. Yep. Uh, center defeating, uh, whoa, big push in the back, not called. Tetchlog fighting for the rebound, but it's tapped out. Herman missed a shot and got the offensive rebound. Peter Wirth trying to get it up, can't. Shane Gruby with the good grab. Shuffled his feet, but no call. Take it hard. Peter Wirth got it to roll in. Good effort by Sheboygan North on the glass. I'll tell you, they're not calling a whole lot out no, there. No, good tap, though, too. I know Kyle Tetzog and Brian Herman were up there tapping the ball around, and though you didn't get the rebound, they kept it alive and gave your teammates a chance to get the offensive rebound. Good Pass hustle, inside Herman. by Herman, or to Schaefer is stolen by Herman, and he throws a behind the back pass to Jake Fry. North has it, they're up 49-36. Good drive penetration. Yeah, pass and pitch. Shane Gruby for three more. He has 20 on the night. 
Two three-pointers to his credit. Good hustle, Peter Tapped Worth. Tapped away by Peter Worth, coming up with it. Trevor Gruby, uh, pardon me, Jake Fry. Shane Gruby, no good. Tetchlog with the board. Oh, he had Herman inside. Didn't throw it to him. Herman inside to Tetchlog. He spins, shoots, can't get it to go. North with an offensive rebound, and Peter Worth is going to get called for the offensive foul. And that'll be his second. Third team foul. We get a timeout, Waukesha. It's a full timeout, so we'll take a break. Competition is all about potential. The opportunity to look inside yourself, to challenge yourself, to be better than you ever dreamed imaginable. Junior achievement is also about dreams and the potential to make those dreams come true. Jay's free enterprise education programs help kids say, I can, when everything around them says, you can. Junior achievement, let their potential be your inspiration. Robin okay. Wright over here. She should be home in bed, coach. That's where she's headed. <laughs> well, North has uh, slowly built up the lead. They're up by 16 now. They're only up at by 10 at halftime. Offensive rebounding's been a key. Yeah, they've got just a bunch here in half. And again, live tips too, just keeping that ball alive. Uh, Waukesha North, as we said, not very tall themselves. Uh, they bring in their tallest kid at six foot six, Mark Cooper, but he has yet to see the floor. You had mentioned uh, at the beginning of the broadcast, Chris, that uh, Waukesha was not very tall and uh, that lack of height is uh, hurting them. Yes, uh, it and is. As we get deeper in the game, it's gonna hurt them even more. Well, and you got explosive jumpers like uh, Kyle Tetchlog and Hermie and Peter Worth and these guys that uh, they make up with for their size with their great jumping ability. Good job. Uh, North Ryan. with another steal, good pass. Layup by Fry is good. Off the pass to Shane Gruby. And Waukesha almost lost it, but then they throw it into the backcourt. It'll be a violation. Pressure, pressure D, that's the key. Fifth tur turnover in the half, 18 in the game. At 2.35 remaining in the third quarter, North is up 18. Petchlog has it on top, swings it. Shane Gruby got open from three-point land, but wasn't able to get it to go. Steve Shirley got the rebound for Waukesha. Waukesha working the perimeter, looking for cutters underneath the basket. Erdman out to Schaefer. Erdman has it on top. Running a lot of clock, we're under two minutes. Taking it hard to the basket was Tyler Schaefer and he got it to go. His first basket of the ball game. Took it right down the lane. Schaefer playing very tight defense on Kyle Tetchlag. Kyle got it inside, put it up and in. He has eight points on the night. Gotta watch the back cut when you overplay as high as they do. Waukesha again, uh, forced to run a lot of clock as North is uh, playing very good defense. Under a minute in the third quarter, North on top, 56-38. Shirley has it. We look for him to score. They really shut him down here in the second half. Schaefer's shot is blocked by Herman. Pass inside is almost taken away. Schaefer down the lane, can't get it, throws it away. Peter Worth has it. 
He tries to slice through the two defenders and does and got it in. Peter Worth with 11 points. North up 20. 12 seconds remaining in the quarter. Getting it inside was Olin Echek, and as he put it up, he was followed by Brian Herman. Brian didn't like it, he got a lot of ball, but I think he got him with the body also. At end of the quarter, Marty. So he's gonna be shooting free throws all by himself. For Herman, that's his third foul. Now, Olin Echek had two points in the first quarter, Chris, and hasn't scored since, so he's got a chance to double his point total. And he does. And at the end of three quarters of play, it's North 48, Waukesha 40. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. You know, we sing for millions of girls, but helping out in schools, that's the real deal, baby. I know our love can multiply. I'm the cute one, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever been backstage before? Cause you're the exit. I think you'll find that gravity is key in what I do. Once was one, but now we're two. I'm spinning out of <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there you get a young fan. Kind of looks like me when I'm in front of the TV, watching <laughs> show and stuffing that popcorn in my mouth. <laughs> Well, oh, great defensive quarter by North. Uh, scoring dropped off a little bit. They had 23 and 20 in the first two quarters. That quarter, they only had 15, but only allowed Waukesha seven points. Yeah, just two baskets, too. And again, Gruby doing such a nice job going to the basket, Marty. Shane Gruby, he now has 22 points to lead all scorers. Steve Shirley taking it in the lane, throws a one-hander up, can't get it to go. North has it. 60 to 40. Yeah, he's only had two shots, surely that is, in the whole half. Jake Fry forcing the shot up and in. Fry has 12 points, and Waukesha calls a timeout. It's gonna be a full timeout, Kerry, so let's take a break with North on top, 62 to 40. Does it matter who you are? or what you drive, or where you live. You have the power to give someone the greatest gift in the world, life. Make the decision to be an organ donor. Make the decision to donate life. There you see uh, Doc Wineland and behind him, Freddie Forstling. Freddie's all of famer, Chris. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, he told me last week already for the Sheboygan A's and coaching the JV girls here. Had a big win the other day. 93 to 37. Oh, girls, <laughs> girls did well. No, they were on the winning end. Just remember, what goes around comes around. Well, he, <laughs> he tried not to, and uh, from what I understand. Girls are off to a nice 2-0 start for Sheboygan North. They start conference play here tomorrow night, Green Bay Preble. Ooh. I think a test right out of the gate. Or Southwest, one of the two. No, it's Preble. But uh, that'll be a good test for them right out of the gate. Oh. Herman guarding Olenicek and uh, Norris defense was just outstanding in the third quarter and they forced uh, Waukesha to run a lot of clock trying to get open shots. Yeah, and they only had about six shots in that whole quarter, Marty. Almost as many turnovers. Yeah. 
Pass over to Shirley. He gets it inside, but then it's streaking across the lane, cutting in front of the offensive player was Kyle Tetchlog. Good anticipation there by Tetchlog. Say, that was a great, great interception. Tetchlog open inside, but they don't get him the ball. Shot by Worth is no good. Tetchlock with the rebound. No shot. He was fouled when he was on the floor. North will get it out of bounds. Good distribution of outside and inside shooting today by Sheboygan North. They're making some threes and taking the ball to the basket. Good variety by Sheboygan North for an opener. Jake Fry has it. Puts it over to Herman. They swing the ball. Again, uh, Tetschlag looked like he was open for a second, but they're not getting the ball inside. Shot by Fry is no good. Groovy's shot is blocked. And Waukesha comes off with it. Off of Shirley's hands, out of bounds. Another turnover. They've got a plethora of those, don't they, Coach? 21. Peter Worth has it in the corner. Nothing doing inside, and that's a five second count. First time we had that, where they just kind of standing around. I know they want to take some clock off there, but uh, still got to move the ball around. Oh, pass thrown away. Make it 22. Yep. There's that pass inside. Tetchlog's turnaround jumper is no good. And he's going to get called for an over the back fall. Well, they got him the ball that time, and he had yep. the open jumper in the lane, just couldn't get it to go. Yeah, he'll make that more often than miss it. Fifth team foul by North, third on Kyle Tetchlog. Shane Gruby pounding the ball handler, Tom Demers, and then Ola Nietzsche got it and took a shot, no good. North scrapping for the ball and out with it is Herman, and he gets it over to Fry. Oh, nice pass by Tetchlog over to Gruby. Shane Gruby, he has 24. Well, not creating a lot of noise in the second half has been Steve Shirley. He had 14 in the first half, Chris, and uh, only has a free throw here in the second yeah, half. Yeah, I got him for just two shots, too. It's just supposed to show you what an outstanding job that Peter Wirth has been doing on him here in the second half. Brian Herman started with him and then got into foul trouble, and they switched Peter Wirth over there, and he's just done outstanding. Swinging the ball, taking a jump shot, and having it adjusted by uh, Tetchlog was Tom Demers. He's got long arms too, coach. Shot is up and in by Shane Gruby. Shirley gets a pass over to uh, Kutz. This shot is blocked by Tetchlog. That's at least three blocks by Kyle. Jake Fry has it. Worth with a little jump shot, and then he leans into the lane, to the basket in the lane, and uh, his shot rolls off. And a foul is gonna be on North. Peter Worth picking up his third foul. Get a good shot of Peter. Coming in is uh, Trevor Gruby. At a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Talk a little bit about some action coming up this week. On uh, Thursday, TV8 will be out at uh, Lakeland uh, doing a women's game. Uh, Concordia coming in to Stacy Rush, a former Lutheran player. And of course, uh, Renee Steiner, former Lutheran player, playing for Lakeland. And then on Friday, we're right back here at North. They open up the conference season. Yep, and we're coming back here. Uh, Green Bay Southwest is coming in here. 
The first of the FRVC season. Seems so early already to get started, but I guess it's December, it's time yeah. to roll. And you know the best part about this? Is we're gonna be working together. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, intercepted by Herman. Bad pass by Waukesha. They are, uh, as we go through the game, Coach, they're having more and more trouble handling right. the North press. Good wear down by North is right. And uh, the big man, Cooper's in the ball game. A lot of bumping and banging in the post. That's a good pass. Tetchlog leans in, puts it in. Nice pass by Shane Gruby. Weight room work on that one, going out and getting that, Kyle. Mark Cooper, number 50. Oh, uh, Erdman broke loose underneath the basket and the ball tipped off of uh, Shane Gruby's hands? I didn't think so, but uh, Tom Erdman should have made the catch. He had a wide open shot in the lane. Brad Peterson, number 34, making his first appearance for Waukesha. Peterson had a shot, didn't take it. Again, Waukesha having trouble finding a shot. North playing very good defense. Just so quick. Erdman with a rainbow is no good, but Olenicek got the rebound over Worth. The left-hander, Bangle for Tyler Schaefer, three-pointer. Inside feed to Tetchlog, his shot is blocked by Schaefer. He got it back. But fake by Gruby, his shot is no good, and then Tetchlog over the back commits the foul. That was not a good play. No, Kyle's got no better than that. Won't matter, North is up by 25 with 2.15 remaining in the game. That was Kyle's fourth foul. Cody Schaefer checking in for North. Zach Walden also checking in. And Peter Priggy. I see Jimmy. <laughs> at every game. He yes. knows more about what goes on in practice than Coach Desatel sometimes, I think. Brad Peterson, free throw rattles in. That's a, only the four, fourth point for Waukesha in the fourth quarter, and there's only 2.15 remaining. Instant offense off the bench, Brad Peterson. Joey Fritch in, number five. He also, the Raiders. he also a very good one for the JVs a year ago. See how he'll throw into the mix this year. Peter Worth has it. Oh, screening fall. I think they're gonna get Schaefer. Yep. Well, it was number three guarding number three and he said fall on three, but he also said offense. So that would make it Cody. And uh, Brad Peterson, another chance. Just got off the line, made two out of two. Whoa, went in and came back out. Right string, wrong yo-yo. Very impressive uh, debut for the Sheboygan North. Priggy has it on top, big knee brace on his leg, coach. Nice pass. Good inside feed put up and in by Zach Walden. <laughs> 70 to 45, North on top, 133 remaining. Taking it hard to the basket and shooting it up, but going off was Michael Anichek. Worth has it, he's trying to push it hard. Stopped. 
Waukesha and Norris still playing very hard. Here, Worst played a nice game, seven rebounds, bunch of assists. Schaefer's shot is off. Getting the rebound was Tom Erdman for Waukesha. Waukesha North, North Stars. Gonna take one on the chin in the opening game of the 2003-2004 basketball season. Inside feed, shot is off the glass and in for Lance Markle. Schaefer has it, we're down to 21 seconds. North on top, 70 to 47. Joey Fritsch. Getting roughed up at half court, no yeah. ball. <laughs> he's a pretty good ball handler, and he's getting a little bit there. And this should do it, Marty. Yep. Two, one, and zero. And that's the end of the ball game. North wins it 70 to 47. We're going to take a short break, and we come back. Hopefully, Chris will have a couple of interviews for us. art kids get the more it shows are yours getting enough art ask for more americansforthearts.org take a deep breath it's all going to be fine diagnosed with cancer as a baby because she was told she would not live to be nine because she should have a chance to grow up each year thousands of children learn they have cancer or another deadly disease st jude children's research hospital needs your help to research cures and treat these children regardless of their parents ability to pay because they deserve to dream call now to learn more about st jude's life-saving work we're back at North High School where the Raiders have defeated Waukesha North by a score of 70 to 47. Standing by with a couple interviews is Chris Wright. I'm here with uh, two seniors, uh, Jake Fry and uh, Shane Gruby here. Uh, Jake, tough year last year. It must have been nice to have a big start and come out today, huh? Yeah, it's nice. We didn't have really a chance to play this year, so it's nice to come out and play hard and get a win in the first game. Oh yeah, I know after that injury last year and having to watch all year until tournament, it must be uh, a great start. Uh, great defense tonight. Yeah, we, we just tried to come out and pressure them and play hard and try and turn them over, and we did a pretty good job. Yeah, I thought as the game progressed, the defense got better and better. You really stopped their, their big star, Steve Shirley, really shut them down in the second half. Yeah, we had to make sure to get our hands up. He's a great shooter, and our whole defense was basically geared toward him. So I don't know how many points he had, 15 maybe, but... Oh, I don't even know if he... Yeah, just about he had 14 and a half, but you really shut him down <laughs> second half. Uh, good luck on uh, Friday night. Uh, coming into tonight, obviously five new starters. I thought you really got contributions from a lot of different guys tonight. Yeah, well, everybody really stepped it up. It was our first game. And uh, whether we were going to Kyle in the post, and pretty much when we get it to him, we have a lot of people who can score. So Peter Worth stepped it up, everybody. And it was just, it was good. Yeah, I thought it was a, uh, yeah, I thought it was a big team effort and things like that. Uh, good inside-outside game work, and especially for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could have shot the ball a little better, but it's all right. We got we have shooters on this team, so we're gonna we're gonna have that. I hope. Later yeah. On in the year. Yeah, I think that's true. You got like I said, you're gonna have a lot of new players, and a lot of people did contribute today. Conference starts for real on Friday night. Yeah, we're excited. Southwest, so they always play tough defense, so we got to come at them right away. Yeah, you expect a real physical game. Well, good luck to you on Friday. Let's send it back to Marty. 
Let's go through some of the scoring for Sheboygan North. They were led by Shane Gruby with 26 points. Following him, they had three other players in double figures. Jake Fry had 12, Peter Wirth had 11, and Kyle Tetchlog had 10. Chipping in with six was Trevor Gruby. Uh, Brian Herman had three, and then rounding out the scoring for Sheboygan North was Zach Walden, who had two. Waukesha North was led by Steve Shirley. He had 14 points in the first half, but only one in the second half, and didn't get many shots in that second half either. They had nobody else in double figures. But helping out in the scoring was Brian Cutts, a freshman. He had eight points. Tom Erdman had seven. Tyler Schaefer had five. Michael Lenichek had four. And then they had uh, one, two, three, four players with two points. Jared Weimer, Brian Jarrett, Tom Demers, uh, pardon me, Brad Peterson, and Lance Markle. And that rounded out their 47 points. We talked about the great defensive effort. That happened, especially in the second half. Waukesha North only had 14 points in the second half, seven in the fourth quarter, and only seven in the third quarter. Uh, coming up on TV8, we have a game on Thursday when uh, the Concordia women will visit uh, Lakeland College. And then on Friday, we'll be right back here when North takes on Green Bay Southwest in the opening of the uh, Fox River Valley season. I want to say a great job by the crew, Brian Andrews and Andy McKillop on the cameras, Kerry Coutzer, our director in the truck. Uh, for my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying so long, everybody, and uh, we'll see you down the road.